Vanessa and I'm the Director of Vendor Management here at Resolvian. Today I would like to talk about billing and ancillary fees through our agent portal. The process is actually quite intuitive and is easy to use. So let's get started. From the welcome screen, you're going to select the Recoveries tab highlighted on the slide. Once the Recoveries tab is open, you can then use the search bar to search for the last six of the bin. The results matching your search will then populate on this page. Select the case ID that matches the account you are searching for. If the account is not found, then it has not been fully marked recovered, and you will need to go back and complete that step before being able to bill through Ancillary. If you are billing for redemption, storage, or transport fees, the status of the vehicle will need to be updated under Current Status of Unit. This is done by entering the date the vehicle has left the lot and to whom the vehicle was released. The next step is to upload the supporting document for the service you are getting ready to bill. This is uploaded under the Additional Documents section. Select the document type, choose the file, and upload the file. If the service fee does not require supporting documents, you can skip this step. All documents must be uploaded through the Ancillary tab in order for the system to recognize it as being completed. If the document is uploaded through any integration, the system will not recognize it. So always upload through Ancillary. Once the document has been uploaded, you will be able to verify by refreshing the screen and looking at the Uploaded Documents section. Please note the documents are sorted by oldest to newest, so the most recently uploaded documents will be shown on the last page of the Documents section. See example below. The redemption release is shown on the third page. The final step will be to post the fee or billing. This is completed under the pre-approved and standard ancillary fees section. Enter the amount you are billing and the invoice number. Then next to the service fee, click post to item. To confirm the fee has successfully been posted, refresh your screen and look under posted agent expense records. The fee will show as pending until it is approved or declined by our billing team. If the fee is approved, the status will change to authorized. If the fee is declined, an email will be sent to the email on file explaining why and if an additional document is needed for approval. If the service fee you are trying to bill is not listed under the pre-approved and standard ancillary fees section, you will need to submit the fee under unapproved fees. This section can be used for pre-approved flatbed fees, mileage fees, and any other state-specific fees. Simply enter the amount, the invoice number, and the fee description. If the fee being submitted was not pre-approved, there's no guarantee it will be processed. I hope this guide has been helpful. Thank you for your attention, and as always, if you have any questions, please reach out to our vendor management team. Thank you.